Oh, the reach. Oh, look at the reach. That's such a wide lens on this Sony. <laughs> wow, you guys really designed this thing for vlogging, <laughs> didn't you? How long were you in the factory? Hours. Endless hours. So we're on the Sony ZV-1 with their handy little grip thing. And I got the wind fluffer thing on top. In traffic noise. How does it reject it? Is it a shotgun, Michael? We'll test it. Autofocus enabled. Stabilization test. I brought the GoPro. We'll do a little side by side. Thank you so much, Camera Canada. They begged Sony to let me use this thing. They were like, we will boycott your products if you don't get him one. Okay? And they did. They stood up for me, and I stand up for them. Let's all go to Camera Canada right now. They're closed, but let's go when the thing's over with the whole virus. So let's test her on out. Tracking my eye. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. All right, we're on the lav mic now. We're gonna switch over to a longer tripod, but I must say, having the mic jack on the left side, fantastic idea. Now it's not blocking my articulator over there. Don't switch to them. I'm the important one. I registered my face. It's on my eye. It's tracking my eye. Don't you dare switch. Don't you dare do it. Oh, there is gray boxes. So first, let me just get this off my chest. I've been getting it off my chest for the past several videos about this camera. This is not even close to wide enough. With a grip out here, this tiny grip, that big. Do you have any idea how many things in my life are this big? We're in 4K, which crops, and then we're in active stabilization, which crops again. We're at a 30 mil equivalent, according to Gerald Undone. Never wrong, once in his life. People thought he was wrong once, they were hit by lightning. Just as a little comparison, let's switch out to 1080p and turn off active stabilization and see what they had in mind, if it could be so good. Okay, now we're in some semblance of dignity territory, although we can't move if we're very careful. But if I walk like I was walking, this is what this looks like. I'm trying to be stable. I'm not being a jerk about it. I can see weird things happening. I like that there's zebras. Even the Olympus doesn't have zebras. What the heck? Wow. The stabilization. Oh my god. Let's just stop that right now. Okay, here's still 1080p, but with active stabilization on, which you have to have for this camera, I've seen. So how is the stabilization performing? And if I'm being honest, this is still too tight. It's not even close. So let's bring out the big old tripod. Before we do that, GoPro on your right, Sony on your left. We're in linear mode, so that's about as cropped as you'll ever be on the GoPro. I like to actually film in wide, which is a little wider. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So who's handling the stabilization better? And what has the more pleasing field of view? I'm thinking it's a GoPro winner, but image quality might be in Sony's hands. I don't know. Autofocus, definitely in Sony's hands because GoPro doesn't do that. Don't you prefer this wider look though? Even though we're in linear, it could be wider. You get to see the world. Things aren't so bad. The stabilization is pretty good. It's just the audio that's terrible. I'm using the audio from this, take that. But this thing, if this had a 16 mil lens with all those crops initiated, it'd still be like a 22 mil, but then it'd be doable. Compact little system. It's not that light. This whole thing weighs 507 grams. You know what else weighs that? The Panasonic G85. Sure, it doesn't have a lens yet, but you put that little Leica on there, not much lighter, although you don't have a tripod and it's unusable without it. Still, math wins. So who's winning the GoPro versus Sony backlit test? Face exposure, that looks pretty dark as shit. Not ever catching up. 
facing the sun, even though it's about 8 p.m. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. What's the more pleasing vlogging camera? Which was designed for vloggers? Okay, now let's put the Sony on an actual long tripod. I just switched to wide mode just for a second. And the audio is just GoPro audio now. But here's what we could be having. It's a little fish-like. Let's switch to the Sony. So now I'd like to switch over to another tripod. I find that this tripod happens to be better. It's one of my favorite tripods. I wish I could show it to you, but Sony doesn't have... What the hell was that? What the hell is your problem? You don't like black things, Sony? Sony racist? How many black employees do you have, Sony? Oh my god. So anyways, this tripod is like one of the biggest tripods you can get for any system. It's a mini tripod. It compacts down pretty well, but it's 19 inches of reach. Maybe you stand a chance now. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. The funny thing is, this weighs 208 grams, according to my scale. This thing, with, with so much more reach, at least three, if not three and a half lengths of this, just 60 grams more. That ain't much. That ain't much. So how are we doing now? Is this doable? It even seems a bit tight still. With all those crops, that ain't right. Here's 1080p with the stabilization off just in standard mode. That's plenty wide now. That is plenty wide. If the stabilization is good and 1080p is okay, we could have something. We might have something here. Autofocus. Is it smoother on the tripod? I think we're good. I think we're good to go now. No, we're not. I can see the trees. It's an earthquake. Just in case you're curious, this is handheld, in my hand, no tripod. That's tight. That's what... Nobody said that. That took a little while to record, that's weird. So on Sony, the slow motion, that was 480p. You have to press the back button to lock focus and exposure. So you press that, then you're allowed to press the record button. You press it, and then I ran. I don't know how long it recorded for, probably not very long, maybe two seconds. We'll try 960p. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, that takes forever. Wow, it was done. Like, as soon as I finished crossing the street, it was stopped. There's like a two second limit max. Wow, the magic. So far, so fun though. It's a kind of fun thing. If you have it out that far, it's not terrible. It's pretty terrible. I wouldn't say it's designed for vlogging, but it makes it fun. You know what's funny? Sony sends me this through Purelator. I've never seen this before in my life. She walks up, I open my door, and I'm waiting for her to come down the hallway. She gets to my door, drops the box, just drops it on, on purpose, a complete like throw. I guess this is social distancing behavior now. She just drops it. And I was like, if I had bought something and she did that, I'd be like, what are you, 
I didn't say anything. I was just like, okay, that's cool. Just drops it. In my opinion, because she was too heavy to bend down safely and place it on the ground, but wow. If the autofocus is behaving like I think it should be and the stabilization's good, we'll have to test that. We've already tested it. I mean, I have to see that. It's pretty light with this tripod, decent stuff. You got your product autofocusing thing. Can I turn it on during video recording? No, you cannot. You have to stop it, which we will do now. And personally, what I like to do for a vlog is showcase products along the way, things that I find. Oh, I just found this. That's fantastic, isn't it? It's a nice little thing. Sure, the stabilization's gone. You might think that ruins your vlog until this happened. Yeah, that just happened. What else did I find today? Uh, what a handy feature, Sony. Bet you didn't think it would be used like this. When it works, it freaking works. Hmm, that was a little slow. That is fantastic. Oh, I wanna find things. And where's the squirrel? Our rainforest is dying, my friend. It's not. It's dying, Sony, don't you care? Sony, how could you? Is it because it's black? What's happening? Come on. It was focusing on pens and shit in other people's videos. It's a good feature. And we got our wide angle back. I like that. Just can't move. I don't mind that. If this is your vlog, this is the best mode. has better 120p Sony or the <laughs> I will say this the 120p doesn't appear to have autofocus I tried to tap on my face it appeared to get it but all the slow motion modes are weird. It's not like, I don't know what happened. I thought it's on, but it doesn't seem to track anything. So it's weird. I got soft skin mode on. It only lets me do low, not high. Why can't I have teenage girl skin? Not even fake technology skin. Why? Chelsea could do it. <laughs> it's such an awkward mode. It like smooths part of your face, but like whenever you move, it's like, oh, there's your wrinkles for a second. Like what a dumb mode but I love it. It's not working to hide my grease acne. My diet's 90% almond butter right now. I don't recommend it. Here's a good mode, an underutilized mode. It's called rosacea finder. I found it. So there's all the inflammation and heart disease in my face. It's that region in the forehead area. That's the thyroid. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind this. I don't mind this one bit, Sony. I'm glad it's in there. I'm glad it's here. <laughs> I just briefly want to test HLG and S-Log2, but I'll do those further in another test. This is just my first initial impressions, but we're in HLG now, which is usually hella green mode on Panasonic. Maybe not so much on Sony. It looks weird and stupid here. Muted. Let's switch to S-Log2 and Fuji LUT. 
our lives up. We're in S log two. This is definitely the mode you want when it's dusk. There's hardly any light. And that's what it's designed for, these low contrast situations. So, Sony, don't worry. Your camera's in good hands. Is it Fuji like? Does the autofocus struggle? It's no longer doing the eye stuff. Oh, you don't like low light S log, do you? <laughs> Is this user error or your fault? Somebody's at fault. I'm zoomed in all the way to 70 mil. This is Sony's preferred length for vlogging. This is the Mark II. It's just gonna be a, oh, the eye is tracking me. It has more to work with now. Oh, it switched when I opened my eyes? Switched to face? What the hell's your problem? How's the stabilization? Probably not good. I need their toning. Their toning. So I think that's about it for my initial impressions. I'll have to see this footage and then we'll slowly make a couple more videos, comparing things, tweaking things, and then I'll give you my conclusion on whether or not this is worth buying. You buy it now with my affiliate links. Who cares what I say? If you liked it, you do it. Don't listen to what I say. See what's happening for yourself. Think for yourself, my friend. The autofocus never loses me. Olympus, when I turn my head sometimes, unless it's an Olympus lens, micro four thirds, <laughs> That ain't a group of lenses. It's Olympus or Panasonic. They do not get along that well. A little bit. I'm gonna leave. What do you think? Tell me your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.